Hold me. <laughs> Why are you trying to eat your child? <laughs> the power outs tonight. No crap. As we walk out the door, he says to me loud enough for our whole family to hear, Daddy, you have a huge... He took his nappy off for the shower. <gasps> Where's it gone? No, I can't <laughs> even look at it. That's disgusting. Welcome to the Unhelpful Parenting Podcast. Where we share the real, the raw and the ridiculousness of parenthood. So if you're a mum who could close her eyes and go to sleep right now. Or a dad who does absolutely everything to avoid changing a nappy. Then you're in the right place. Welcome back, everyone. Hello. Welcome to the Unhelpful Parenting Podcast. We have a great episode in store today. We do. It's going to be fun. Yes. I'm Beck. I am Sam. Yes. And we are here to... Be not, extremely unhelpful. Not help you today. <laughs> but, no, we're going to help you laugh. Yeah, that's the point. We're here to help you know that you're not the only parent with... With what? Oh. Uh, no. Crazy, not crazy kids. But. I was going to say, kids are crazy. It's just, I mean, kids are, like, kids are crazy, but kids are good. I think it's just, life is crazy. Yeah, life is very crazy when you have kids. The roller coaster, there's a reason it gets called a roller coaster. If you don't have kids yet and you're listening to this podcast. And you like roller coasters? No. <laughs> you've probably heard it called a roller coaster all the time, and there's a reason for it. So, um,. It has its really good days and it has its really not so good days. And there's usually always someone crying or screaming. So, um, <laughs> I met the kids, not me, no, it's but yeah, I you. guess we're in, we get added to that. It's normally you. Um, so, we start every episode with our yay or a nay. Yes, we do. So, I'm just going to jump straight in this week because. You jump in every week. My, Un- yeah. Unless you throw me under the bus and say, your turn. Yes. Well. Continue. My nay. I'm starting with my nay because it's been one of those weeks where thinking of a yay is really hard. <laughs> we just I'm are not sleeping downer. again. Like I don't. No, kids aren't sleeping. Oh, the baby is. Just, Actually, even the kids aren't sleeping in their beds. Oh. Uh, yeah, last night was a bit of the cold because we had a power out as well, so the heaters all stopped. Yeah, so thanks, they, Energex. Oh. Oh, yeah. Buttheads. No, <laughs> and our okay. bedroom's the coldest in the house too and they still all ended up in our bed because they were cold and disgruntled. So, so we all ended up cold and disgruntled. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a great one. So I'm like just rediscovering. I feel like the newborn sleep deprivation mm. is easier because one, you're meant, you know it's meant to happen. Like there's no newborn that just automatically sleeps all the way through the night. Like we've had good sleepers, but you expect to be up feeding through the night. Whereas once you've gotten used to kind of sleeping again, to go back. He's just cutting teeth though. <sighs> and it's cold and it sucks. Yeah. So my nay is just He's lucky he's really – well, he was really cuddly when he gave him to me this morning early. Well, that was my yay is thank the Lord our children are so cute because I think that's what helps me cope. It's like I get up and I'm like, again, we're awake again and then I get in there and I'm like, oh, he snuggles in and it's all mm. cute and it's – We sat on the couch this morning and snuggled under the blanket. Yeah. In his I'm, little sleeping bags. Yeah. I'm not a science person. But there must be something scientific behind how cute little kids and babies are because I don't imagine any other animal in the food chain that would have – a the food chain? Uh, in the whatever, again, not science I was going to say, why are, you, <laughs> why are you trying to eat your child? <laughs> I'm not. Just any other animal in the animal kingdom. That's what I was thinking. Animal kingdom, not the food chain. Anyway, can't think of any other animal whose child or like baby version of them mm-hmm. would be so needy that they would continue to love and care and keep them. Like you imagine a bird, if their baby bird was up constantly all the way through the night, they'd just boot them out of the nest. I feel so like this could be I a whole like segment where I could probably prove you very wrong and there are far needier babies out there, but. You mm. reckon? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Isn't it turtle mums? They just lay the eggs and leave them to hatch and like. One out of how Leave many species of animals? <laughs> and quokkas. I've seen it online. Quokkas will throw their babies at predators to protect themselves. So <laughs> I feel like. I feel like you've just picked two. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't. Again, I'm not a science person. I probably shouldn't have gone down that track. But you shouldn't have. But that's okay. I feel like there's something in how cute they are that is made. It's designed so that when we are at the absolute end of our limits, we still i like, oh, you're so cute. I love you. Well, yeah, it's that moment of do I throw you out the window <laughs> or do I not? And then you see how cute they are. 
And, you've and how it. much you love them. Yes. Yes. So anyway, that's my. I'm in a great mood today. <laughs> this is gonna be great. <laughs> Let oh, me sleep. We're oh, such a downer. <laughs> Well, what's yours? You go then. <sighs> Mine is gems. My nay is gems. Um, having said two-year-old in our bed, in between us. Yes, he's blessed you with his sharing He faces skills. me <laughs> and coughs up his lungs into my face. And so now I have said cold. It's been fantastic. Look, he's learned to share. <coughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Speaking of. Um, but, yeah. Um, but I guess the plus side of that is having, we are lucky that we have cuddly kids. Yeah, I always say you never want your kids to be sick, but the cuddles they give you when they're sick, like that, just hold me, like. Hold uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe off the spit off your, your germs off your face. <laughs> but like, they are cute. And our kids are extremely cuddly. Yeah, we're very lucky in that department. So, uh, I think it's meme time. Okay. What have you got for us today? Uh, I have one that I don't really know what to read, but I think <laughs> no. it's I think it's toddler jargon. I've just so seen I think it pop I can pop on my um, screen. I can't wait to see how you read this one. It just makes me think of the word meerkat when I see it. But uh, anyway, toddler, I don't know. Dad, what? Toddler, dad. Mum from upstairs. She wants some chocolate milk. <laughs> I don't know how they do it, but mums have this third sense of toddler. We speak toddler. Um, Only our toddler. Interpretation. Although I will admit child number two, child number one, I knew everything. Like, it's because she was, she was say, talking from like bloody birth. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she still hasn't stopped. Uh, <laughs> baby, Girls. toddler number two at the moment, yeah. He's a, there are times where I just have to look and it's like a riddle, like you're trying to unravel a riddle, trying to work out what he says sometimes. And then he just sits and goes, no, he and then says he it again. Say. You're like, mate, it's not helping me. <laughs> anyway, we get there. But he's very cute now because at least he can say what he wants. And yeah. But even, yeah, even mum, even like my parents, anyone else, what did he just say? He said this. Oh, how could you understand that? I was like, yeah. Yeah, I do often drop him off at kindy, prepping them for what his new words are, saying, oh, if he says this, this is what he actually means, like, yeah. as he learns new words. Cool. All right. Well, today we are heading into the confessional and then we have a fun new segment that I am excited to share with you. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sam is not prepped for this Uh-oh. one again and this is always when they turn out to be the best. Uh-oh. So let's head into the confessional and get going. All right, well, I thought I might start the confessional today because okay. I've had one and I was on the fence about sharing this because it's not really – I'm not at a point where I can laugh about it and I don't know if I'm ever going to find it funny. There might be some parents who find it funny, but at the very least, and the reason I've decided to share it is – It's it sets, relatable? It sets the bar quite low. If you're having a <laughs> rough oh. parenting week, if you've had an absolute mum fail this week, well – Join the club. So one of those, eh? Yes. One of the things, the way my brain works, it is. It works in mysterious <laughs> ways. You know the, the I am the U2 definition. Song? I am the definition of scatterbrain. Like people who work with me often think I am one of the most organised people they know because of all my to-do lists and checklists and things. They are my coping mechanisms. I have to have checklists or I don't get things done. Because Let me tell you, when <laughs> she doesn't have checklists, nothing gets done. <laughs> when Sam hears people talk about how organised I am and how yeah, good I am. Yeah, she's great if she's got lists. <laughs> administrative. He always shakes his head because he knows that when I'm in work mode, I do that as a coping mechanism, but at home our lives are a mess a lot of the time because <laughs> a lot of our conversations in the office because she'll just say something and then we'll be like Beck you need to connect the dots because that makes no <laughs> sense to us anyway so I have to have a checklist and that's often when I'm doing this podcast I have my checklist because if I don't I'll end up anyway is, on a anyway. tangent like I'm ending up right now Carry so on. circling back I have to have a checklist of things to do so around the house 
There's mm. lots of things that have to be checklist or else they don't happen. Mm. I'm not great at housework because I have to have that checklist. Or like our power out last night that you made a note of and completely <laughs> yeah, forgot we about. We did actually get a notice in the mail about the power outage and I forgot about it until the power went it. out. <laughs> I didn't know about it and then the whole power went out in the whole suburb and we went, oh, and then Beck goes, it's today the third? And I was like, yes. <laughs> and she's like, is it 8.30? Yes. Oh, Oops. the power outs tonight. <laughs> no crap. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So one of the things that isn't on a checklist in our house has been changing the kids' bed sheets because for the last five oh, years. Oh, okay. Now I know where this is going. I'm trying to work out where the heck you're going with this. <laughs> for the last five years, someone has wet the bed, thrown up in the bed, given us some reason to have to change the bed sheets at least once a week. So it has never made it to a checklist for, hey, I need to change the kids' bed sheets until recently. And we've just been through, like, when I stopped and thought about it and realised easily easily eight weeks, like two months. If not longer. If not much longer since someone had an accident and... Which is great. Which is wonderful. I was stoked at first until it dawned on me that I haven't changed their bed sheets in so long. Anyway... Where we live, we are in kind of a – we're only 10 minutes from the beach, but we're actually in rainforesty kind of – It's shade. Call it shade. It's shade. shaded by trees. Everything's always damp, so I am constantly cleaning for mould. And so I cleaned – like recently cleaned their bedroom top to bottom for mould because they've been coughing and getting sick all the time. And Except I've had for – the feeling that there's mould in their room. So I've been scrubbing everything, every little blind, everything – not even cluing that I haven't changed their bed sheets in so long. And when I took the pillowcases off their pillows, their whole pillows were covered in mould. Disgusting, speckly mould. And I still feel sick about it. So that is my great mum win and confessional for this Needless week. to say, we bought them new pillows oh, yeah. that day. Straight out. Well, we didn't buy them that day because the shops. it was the afternoon it was too oh, late. Was I the chucked them and found spare pillows because I was like, you're better off having a bad back tonight than breathing that in again tonight. <laughs> oh, I'd, yeah. And then she goes, oh, I thought I smelt it on his hair. Well, that's what made me clue was that the night before. Yeah, this is that musty. It was just musty. It was just a musty smell and we just like washed his bad, hair. bad, bad mould. It was just musty mould. Yeah, musty. And he like got that into mildewy, bed. mouldy. Mildew. Yeah, and when I smelt it, I was like, we just washed his hair. His hair shouldn't smell. Yeah, Why it's like mildewy smell? stuff. So that was my parent fail for this week. It's so. great. I don't have one, so I'm going to read one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't make me laugh. <laughs> You're on the wrong <laughs> podcast not to laugh. Don't right? make me laugh. Get ready for the next segment. Then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. My three-year-old son had recently been toilet training. And when we were out at the shops with the whole extended family on holidays, he said he needed the bathroom. And as a dad, that was my moment because now he wanted to try the urinals. Yes. He did his business and I took the opportunity to do the same. As we walk out the door, he says to me loud enough for our whole family to hear, Daddy, you have a huge willy. My wife lost it laughing and I've never (laughs) been more proud. (laughs) That's a good moment. Say it louder for the people at the back. Yeah. (laughs) Sorry, what did you say? Say it again. I don't think, I don't think mummy, I don't think everyone heard you. That's a good moment. Proud dad moment. That's a good moment. (laughs) It's like, yeah, I'm trying to teach our two-year-old at the moment. He's still trying to work it all out. He's just found it though. Every time he's in the, he's only just worked it out. Oh, it was really cold one one night for the shower. <laughs> yeah, where's this going? <laughs> and <laughs> as it does, it went cold and went back up to find some warmth. Um, he took his nappy off for the shower. <gasps> where's it gone? <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. And I was like, no, nah, mate, it's there. Don't worry. <laughs> and he's like feeling for it. He's like, where's it gone? <laughs> I was like, oh, bud. I don't know if we should be sharing that, but that's hilarious. It's pretty funny. <laughs> um. Okay, well, I have one. Okay. Uh, my oldest son was three when his brother was born. One night I was up nursing in the middle of the night and put the baby back down. Wait, was three when his oldest brother was born? My oldest son was three when his brother was born. Oh. Keep up. 
<laughs> I'm just going to sip some coffee here. Just excuse me. <laughs> One night when I was up nursing in the middle of the night, I put the baby back down. I went to have a peek on Mr. Three and how he was sleeping, only to discover he wasn't there. Not under the bed, not anywhere in his room and not in the bathroom. Cue my panic. I looked all over the house and was starting to really panic. I was about to wake up my husband, but when I started calling out my son's name, he popped his head up from behind the couch where he'd wedged himself between the furniture and said, what? He was hiding back there, eating a bag of chips he'd helped himself to from the cupboard. Turns out the baby wasn't the only one hungry in the middle of the night. I mean, when you're hungry, you're hungry. (laughs) Yeah, but I would imagine... Yeah, he's gone hiding. He probably knows I'm not allowed these. I'm going to eat them while mum's asleep. Our kids would do that. Yeah. Oh, I can just imagine the panic too. All the things like running through your head like – because you'd expect if your child's not in their bed, they're on the floor. If they're not on the floor, they're in the bathroom or on the way to your bedroom. Our oh, toilet. Right. Um, You wouldn't expect to find them wedged behind furniture. In a couch hiding – Eating the chips. Holding a <laughs> eating, packet of chips. Eating the junk food that they know they're not allowed to eat. <laughs> I mean, I would. <laughs> good job, kid. I would. That's, yeah. That's pretty good. Something I would do. Yeah, uh, something you would do. <laughs> Except I don't hide. <laughs> probably wouldn't Snack be chips, on. it would be cake. Well, okay. <laughs> we are <laughs> moving right along <laughs> to um, this next segment, I've just, I didn't really have a smart name for it. So it's just called Beck Presents mm. or Sam Reacts. Okay. So I. That needs a better name. When I was on the internet, just scrolling because I, that's what I do as a breastfeeding mum. I'm often stuck on my phone, bored, scrolling. I get to the end of Facebook, literally the end of Facebook. And, um, I came across Better than shopping online. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Saves the budget. Um, so I came across some bad instructions. Right. And I saw it and I was like, hmm, I bet there's like a whole series of like bad kid toy instructions. Bad instructions? Yeah. And for some reason my brain was like, that'd be a funny thing to put together, like a list of all the bad instructions for like putting together toys and, you know, your Ikea flat packs and all. Yeah, yeah. I was like, Sam would love that. That'd be hilarious. (laughs) Yeah, Mm. well. Yep. (laughs) Then I thought a second time and was like, actually. I would just do badly written instructions. Yeah, because that's what I was kind of looking for. Where it's like, oh, you put battery in. Pack. Well, that's what I was expecting to find. But okay. as I started like delving into the internets, I actually – Did you say the internets? <laughs> yes. I actually struck gold <laughs> looking mm. at bad kids' toys, like fa- absolute fails. And I'm not talking like ball pits and noisy toys that we all hate and we all have been gifted at some point. I'm Toy talking, rockets that look like penises? Yes, but not that. Oh. Specifically. And I have a presentation to share with you Uh of all of my favourites that I found while I was delving into the internet. So how this is going to work for the podcast, (laughs) um, if you're watching on YouTube, this is probably going to be a lot more fun for you. We're going to make it work for audio though. So if you are listening on Spotify, I'd recommend jumping to YouTube just so you can see them. And we'll put like the top five on social media. So make sure you follow us. Um, Shameless plug. So what I'm going to do, I will give it a little intro before we get there. Mm. And then you have to say the first thing that pops into your head when you see it. And then Even if it's not appropriate? <laughs> especially if it's not appropriate. Okay. <laughs> and then um, you have to describe it and explain what it is for the listeners before we go into talking do about it Do we need a anymore. disclaimer, my sense of humour? Sam has a very dry sense of humour. No, I think... So if you're easily offended... I don't think any of these are going to be too offensive. Okay. Challenge <laughs> accepted. <laughs> so this is what I was expecting to find. This is a – what you explain. It's a toy bench. Yeah. Two steps to put it together. Tools and a bench. Work assembly, 44 pieces. Yeah, tool bench. Two all steps the tools. to put it together. Look at step number one. Put all the thing. Oh. <laughs> Put all the things in the holes and okay. Yes. So really it should be like a 40-step instruction manual. But Mm -hmm. it's step number one, put it all together. Step number two, look at it. Look, it's done. (laughs) All right. So that's where I started on this adventure. Um, This is what I was expecting to find. I was expecting to find funny 
Stinky poo and toilet paper toys. Squishy toys. They look like pillows. Oh, it's a plush set. Yeah. Friends Forever, it's called. <laughs> well. And I was expecting to find the next one. Go to the next one. I was expecting to find stuff like this where it's like badly made. Pikachu with a very large lightning bolt out of the top of his head. Yes. And from the side it looks like he needs to go to the toilet. No, it's his so they've mixed up his tail and his ears. There is ears coming out oh, his butt. <laughs> now I get it. I knew there was something wrong. I'm like, why does that look not right? He Pikachu'd too hard and <laughs> <laughs> um, it does. It looks like he needs to go to the toilet. Right. Too. He's like, anyway. But then I never <laughs> expected to find this. What in the? What <laughs> is that? First thing that comes to your head. Nightmare. <laughs> That's like. What is describe the teeth? it? Describe it. You have to describe it. It's a. I don't know. It's I a plush know. toy. It's oh, it's a oh, okay. Yeah, it looks it like a It literally looks bear. like I don't even know. It's like it's purple. It's got It's pink. It literally looks like it has human eyeballs or something in it and they're like protruding out of it. It has a tiny dog nose. <laughs> And then looks like some teeth that they've pulled out of some 80-year-old and it just looks like sewn real in teeth there. Just sewn into this little plush and it's just toy like, thing. As like eight teeth. And they look like real teeth. And it is horrendously scary. <laughs> Can you imagine someone giving that to your child? No. <laughs> just be like taking it out the back How and is burning that? it. You don't even throw you don't put that in your rubbish bin. That is That's not like <laughs> It looks Toy like Story taken, gone wrong. It looks like someone's taken kids' teeth and put it into a doll, like except not a doll. It's a plush toy thing. Anyway, I did skip the creepy dolls because there was a, like a Actually, whole. Actually, no. Do you know what the eyes remind me of? What? Big googly fish eyes. Yeah, you, know, you get a oh, yeah. fish head and it's like, blah, 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 blah. and you're like. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I skipped over for the sake of everyone watching. I have skipped over the creepy dolls because we want to oh. sleep tonight. And we all know they're out there. We don't need to see them. Um, but the next, I'm a bit disappointed. The next three dolls will make up for it. You don't need the creepy dolls. Okay. Okay, ready? First thing that comes to your head. Carpet mattress, the drapes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you quickly have to explain what it is. Um, it's a ginger nut doll. doll. With an orange afro. Oh, you can shave the baby. Oh, with Asian. Oh, this is very Asian. Okay. Um, it has armpit hair that goes all the way down the body. Oh, and there's even leg. Okay. And then it may or may not have pubes that matches the <laughs> orange afro. And then there's weird ankle mullets. <laughs> and on the top of the box it says. You can shave the baby. <laughs> Um, mate, if your baby comes out looking like that. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Go to the next one. <laughs> baby's first baby. Baby's baby is pregnant to two. <laughs> Why is there a fetus? In the baby doll. <laughs> this the- is a legit present. <sighs> like. Why? <laughs> I feel like why someone has why is there three bottle sizes one for normal one for and then a tiny little midget one that you wouldn't even be able to hold I feel like you need tweezers they were trying to do the whole mummy's pregnant so your baby doll can be pregnant too to understand but it's a ba- but it's, it's a the ba- baby, baby. And, yeah very misguided just make a, a mum doll that yeah. has a ba- baby and uh, so, yeah, we expected- That's like the baby ate the baby in the womb. <laughs> so I skipped over creepy, but this- That's, this, that's kind of creepy. This type of doll, I never expected to find. Grumpy. <laughs> First word, what comes to your head? Grumpy Asian baby. <laughs> um, it actually looks like one of our friend's babies when he was born. Oh, really? <laughs> Do you not see the resemblance? No. Who else was known with the fr- who else was the frowny yeah, baby? But the frown did not 
look like that. That kind of did. It kind of did. <laughs> well, to all our friends, we're not telling you whose baby that was. because I am no a way. sweet baby. Uh, not, yeah, not the, really. The tagline, I am a sweet baby. Let's have fun together. <laughs> Okay. Absolute death. It like literally, if you can, it literally looks like it's a boy doll dressed in girl clothes, and it's just like death stare. F this. If you could put a death stare into a baby doll, that's not creepy. <clears throat> it would look like that. That is creepy as heck. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure on this next one. Um, so for our American listeners that are out there, you're gonna have to tell me if this is a thing because I've added it in. What is it? Why is there an inflatable turkey? <laughs> it's a little But it's like, in- it's not a toy turkey. It's a like a roast turkey. It is. A, but yep. it's inflatable. $9 on Amazon. And you would blow it up where its head is. And it looks like a roast. I want to know, like, is this a thing? Like, do you do Why? activity scenes for Thanksgiving? Like, well, I wonder if it's just for kids to pretend they get cooking a roast for Thanksgiving. Yeah, but you have little kitchen foods for that. You don't need – this is a big inflatable you, – Yeah, you might want a big inflatable. What if they're like, oh, my turkey's too small? <laughs> I need to feed 10 kids. <laughs> okay, well, the next couple are ones that I hope are ga- – like I found heaps of gag, gag gifts and so I tried to – Like ball and chain gag gifts? No. Okay. Um, like funny, ha-ha, not real toys. So – I've tried to make sure these are real. And this next one. Oh. <laughs> First word that comes to your head. <laughs> no. <laughs> Scary. And now what is it? <laughs> uh, it's my first antidepressant. <laughs> it's a bar of pills. I mean, a jar of pills. <laughs> it looks like a legit toy. Uh, but you might need one of these for the next one. Come on, you've got to... I'm sorry, what? <laughs> and what is it? It's the absent father toy with an empty box that says father not included. <laughs> it's $22 on Etsy. You can literally, like, it's a it's a real... <laughs> absent father action figure. Father not included. <laughs> it's literally just an empty... What? What? <laughs> That's got to be a gag gift. I hope so. That's a gag it's gift. It's like it had a link to where you can buy it on Etsy. That's a gag and gift. Yep. Wow. Yep. Um, it can get worse. 17 dude. plus. So it's not even kid friendly. <laughs> it can get worse. Next one. <laughs> no. It's a crime scene. Why? <laughs> Why? Why are they covered in blood? What is it? I said it's a crime scene. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Please explain what it is. They're action figures. I thought it said Batman presents <laughs> and I thought they were just two, like, baddies. Um, they're Batman's parents. <laughs> Covered Murdered. in blood. <laughs> Martha Wayne, Thomas Wayne, <laughs> both face down, covered in blood. <laughs> okay. Um. Death Street Toys. Yes. So hopefully wow. for adults, please. <laughs> Unless a blind grandparent accidentally goes, oh, action figures, I'll bite, could you imagine? Um, this next one takes gag gifts, literally. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't wrong before, <laughs> but why? That's, Explain. What that's is it? terrible. What the f- <laughs> it's a teddy bear with a gag ball in its mouth. No, okay, so what it I actually think it is, is it's one right. of those like you load up, because you can see the balls, all the balls in the background. Oh, you squeeze, load it up, popper. you squeeze it, yeah, and I the can ball read it. pops out of it. Shoots its up mouth. to 20 feet. But the way they've packaged it it's is strapped. they've packaged, they've strapped it's literally strapped it into around the teddy mouth. bear's mouth. And it's just, just sitting there, it's just like sitting there with a gag ball in its mouth. <laughs> Imagine seeing that on the shelf or opening, seeing one of your kids open that under like at Christmas time. Because <laughs> the concept itself isn't that bad. Like the kids love sh- like the like guns that shoot the like ping pong size balls and things like that. Like mm. that's, but 
Bad packaging, that one. Interesting. So this led me into a whole series of this, inappropriate uh-oh. toys that are unintentionally, like accidentally uh-oh. inappropriate. So, so this is a baby toy. What? <laughs> Describe what you see here. Pooh Bear is ruined forever. <laughs> it's so, Pooh Bear where you can put. I think oh, every kid it's, has those. It's a builder honey. Yeah, and it's a build a honey jar. That's so exactly what it is. Pyramid toys yeah, that you rings. get for your little baby that has the rings. It's that, but it's it's placed. Pooh Bear's lying on his back, holding it. But where it's placed, it just it's a it's his honey jar penis. <laughs> and I've got there's two photos of this one. Like it's a legit toy that is just terrible. But bad placement can get worse. Go to the next one. Uh oh. <laughs> What in the world? <laughs> Why is Spider-Man's... Of all the places to put the balloon tie, this is a balloon. Oh. <laughs> and Spider-Man is in crouching position Does and where they have tied up and blown up the balloon. Does it hang low? Does it wobble to and fro? <laughs> Can to the you next tie one. it in a knot? Can one's... you tie it in a bow? <laughs> exactly oh. the same concept, but big mm. Hero 6. <laughs> Oh, and that's where you blow it up too. Yeah. So you stick a straw in and give it a blow. (laughs) Well, speaking of, go to the next one. (laughs) So this is. Oh. Describe it. You go on. It's a. It's a wolf. I know. Shush. It's a Wolverine hammer. Blow up hammer. Great. Yeah. Looks uh, at service level. Looks great. The blowhole at the end is maybe in. Um, Wolverine's crotch. <laughs> so you are literally blowing off Wolverine. <laughs> that placement, like you really hope that's accidental. He doesn't look like he's enjoying it either. <laughs> Just putting it out there. His claws are out and. Well, okay. Blowing up. This one's for sucking. Go to the next one. <laughs> no. A sippy cup. No, <laughs> it's a Buzz Lightyear why sippy is, cup. Why is it a Buzz Lightyear <laughs> sipping cup? But the straw is coming out of his. Crotch. <laughs> I just don't think. It got and Buzz is just like, yeah. <laughs> He'd be is... making eye contact. Think about where you're holding the cup when you hold that. He'd be making eye contact with you. <laughs> with a little smack <laughs> and his arms crossed, like, damn right, you suck. <laughs> so that's for the little boys. For the little girls, we've Uh-oh. got the next one. <laughs> so I was kind of right. It looks like a penis. What is it? It's a water bottle. It's a. It is a water bottle. How is it a water bottle? So that's a love heart base. Like they've gone little is, girl. It's cute. We'll give them a love heart base. A uh, little the mermaid water bottle sits on, and then it go. The lid is a little bit bigger, and then. <laughs> That's the little spot that the straw comes out of at the top that you flick open to open the straw and it just looks like a giant penis. <laughs> For 54.90. I don't know what country that's in. But uh, I would not be spending $54 not be spending on a giant penis looking water bottle. For my Disney, child. if that is because it's licensed, you can shove the. Ah, oh, it's a Disney toy. There you yep. go. Problem solved. <laughs> and just. <laughs> that's why. Just when you think it couldn't get any worse. What's the first thing that comes to your head? It's a penis worm. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Is it on for box, 79 cents? Well, it looks by the signs in the background of the shop, it looks like it's in some Indonesian. Oh, it's 100% somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. Um, and the title on the box is Interesting Toy. <laughs> Describe this toy, babe. <laughs> I'd love to. Literally a penis worm. <laughs> I can't do it any better. It actually looks With like an adult. On. It actually looks like an adult toy. Like it does. That with a creepy face has a face and a hat on. And by the looks of what the picture on the box, it looks like it, it moves. <laughs> I I don't get it. I'm just going. Uh, yeah, I don't one. get it either. I would. Yeah, this one's gross. And there was a whole series of these. Ew, there was a whole no. series of these. 
No. No. I can't even look at it. That's disgusting. How is that What is thing? it? It's a, it's a, For our audio listeners, what is it? It's a blackhead pimple popping toy. Yuck. Oh, that's disgusting. And that's not the gross one. That was like, I, as I was scrolling through these toys, I was like. I mean, because there's games like that on your phone that you yeah, can Yeah, you can buy them in real feral. life. Yeah. That's disgusting. Anyway, moving on the next one. So we're out of the gross. We're out of the unintentionally sexual. <laughs> there is one word to describe this and it is rocktopus. <laughs> Oh, it's a fidget toy. It's one of those like yep. where tentacle moves and you fidget with it. <laughs> so, yeah, this is literally. It's, it's literally um, a rock head with tentacles like coming the out of the fidget. Spinner, like not fidget not spinner, fidget. but like. Mm, fidget tentacles. Yeah. Fidget. People will understand. Um, and, and he doesn't look super happy. I mean, to their credit, it's a pretty good looking rock. Mm. But. Yeah, so this next one, after all these, I know this is a legit toy and I found it on Amazon, but I do not understand why you would spend $49 on it. So for $49 on Amazon, you can have... Oh, a giant chicken. A giant rubber chicken. A giant rubber <laughs> this chicken. This photo, it is bigger than the little girl. The girl looks like she's about maybe 18 months, two years old. That would old. be a meter tall. That's <laughs> epic. I would spend forty nine dollars on that. Oh, really? Lie. Yeah, hundred percent. I was like, that is going to be the rubbish. <laughs> Imagine the noise out of it. A little rubber chickens are like epic. Yeah, this is like imagine a giant, giant. one. I would hundred percent buy that. Yeah. All right, we've got one more left, and this okay. one looks can be deceiving. You have to read the fine print. Okay. So, what is it on the surface? Explain to us what it is. It's a Paw Patrol toy, and I just read this title. <laughs> But it has all of the toys in it and they look pretty normal. Um, but the uh, the title says poor concentration camp. <laughs> Literally, I don't even know. As in P-A-W, concentration yeah, camp. Yeah, poor patrol concentration camp. And I don't understand. I have been thinking about it all morning, being like, how did they – is it a bad translation maybe of – Focus group? No. It would be like they're all – they all look like they're in their outdoors. Like if you look here, they're all like in their explorer stuff. Oh, I don't – that's got to be a bad translation, surely. Like – Oh, 100%. Because <laughs> there's no SWAT stickers on it, so – or Japanese <laughs> flags on it. So um, that's definitely a bad translation. That is but a very bad translation. Yeah, thankfully there's no poor patrols with a gas superpower. Um, <laughs> of course you went there. Anyway, that brings us to the close of Marty the Pups. Marty Pups. <laughs> places I ended up in the internet. The things in you the stroll. early hours of the morning. Just trying to think what my favourite was. Yeah, pick your favourite. <laughs> I don't know. Some of them were just scary. <laughs> I could not believe that it's a shave your doll. <laughs> yeah, that probably takes the cake, I reckon. Oh. That was pretty. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're thinking through them, aren't you? It's just, it's hard to say what's just your favourite. Bad. They're bad. Well, that's what I said. Beck presents bad kids' toys. Beck presents. <laughs> <laughs> um. That was bad. <laughs> so put in the comments, if you're watching, tell us what your favourite one was and we'll make sure that one goes onto socials somewhere so that and we share it. if you find any, send them in because yeah, we'll do it again. send them in. If you've got, especially if you've got gifted them. I kind of want to do the next one. <laughs> have you got one at home, do you? Have, have I got one what? Oh, as in you want to present the next I one. I thought you meant ne- you had a gift and I was like, what? Are like our kids. Yeah, I bought a. Shave your doll. doll. <laughs> no. A creepy toy with teeth. <laughs> oh, I may Ew. or may not buy that giant chicken. Okay. Well, what we were saying for next week, what we want to do, and so this is a call out if you've got Ooh, stuff to send oh, in. Oh, yeah. Okay, look. 
This may be. We want to test something. We're going to try being helpful. We want to be actually helpful, not deep philosophical. No, here's how to stuff. raise your kids. Like, hey. not interested in. That. We're not interested in that <laughs> crap. No, we are just. <laughs> Not right There's now. There's plenty of experts out there to help you with that. We are not those people. That I will admit, I I did production for a Maggie Dent seminar over yes. the weekend. I actually learned a lot. <laughs> but we are not those people. About myself, <laughs> as a because it was about raising boys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, and anyway, and, the anyway. call out is we. So we're not going to be that helpful. That's Maggie's job. We want to do. What is your parent hack? What's like that one thing that you do that it's like, I wonder if other people know that this is a thing that you can do and it just makes parenting that little bit easier. And I'm not talking like discipline hacks. Like the dad with the hair and the vacuum and the... Yeah, that's a great one. I know. My one that I was going to share as an example to get us going is cost of living at the moment is horrendous. So groceries are horrendous. horrendous. And... Cereal, if your kids eat breakfast cereal, it's Horrendous. like almost $10 a box. It's ridiculous and they eat so much of it. So one hack that I introduced very early on so that the children have now accepted it is you get rolled oats and you fill the bowl halfway up with oats and then you just put the cereal on top yeah. and they eat a whole bowl, they get full, but they're only eating a teeny tiny bit of cereal. And they still get Great full because oats fill you up. And they've got heaps less – well, I don't think they've got any sugar in them, so they're actually – health hack too. Look at it, look at me go. I so, wouldn't call it a health hack, but yeah. That's better. I guess it's kind of like porridge. Yeah. Without the brown sugar in there. Yeah. 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 So that's that's my fun parent hack. The only downside to that is the honey. Oh, yeah. Our children expensive. request – well, they request that on anything anyway. So. They don't. Just, me, just the Mackenzie. Yeah. So that's my parent hat. Actually, the honey was frozen. This not frozen, but oh, it was, was pretty much solid this morning. morning. I tried to just and it didn't, <laughs> it didn't move. We are not built for winter. We're in Queensland. We're meant to be hot, hot summers. And look, we woke up. It was fifteen degrees at like <laughs> nine a.m. <laughs> the amount of people in cold areas that are going to be shaking their head at us. <laughs> I know all of our Melbourne friends and followers will be like, we didn't even hit fifteen. As a high. <laughs> Let alone that. We've got people who listen in Canada and in the States. They'll be like, that's yeah, a true. nice warm summer's day. <laughs> yeah, true. Anyway. Yeah, minus 40, minus 25. Minus. So send us your parent hacks. Send us your funny stories still. Like if stuff happens, send it to us. We want to hear it. We, we do. love that confessional. Confessional is probably not the best name for it, I actually realise, because you don't always have to be confessing something. Sometimes it's just that funny, hilarious, I can't believe that just happened story that we want to hear. So whatever is it you've got. going to be called a confessional then? Uh, we'll, we'll think about it. It's been the staple. That's well, that. It's, it's not a. It's, it's not a great name for it. So we're we changing it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> we might put in the comments if you've got something better. Anyway, we will be back next week with those helpful hacks. So make sure you send them in. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube and if you, or if you've jumped over to watch specifically for those bad toys, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, <laughs> click the bell. Leave us some comments. If you're listening on Spotify. Go back and watch the old stuff. It's if you're it's good fun. Watching on listening on Spotify, Apple, rate the podcast, review the podcast, give us some love, send us some love on socials, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.